today's quick bite is just a quick preview of WebEx so that if you haven't seen it, then you can see it and you will be more prepared for the transition to WebEx. So I'm going to go first to umn.webex.com and that's the URL you'll use to get into WebEx. Now, this is the site that you see before you log in. So the SHIB login is actually the next step here, not the first one. So, first try on the password. Okay, so then you'll see this um, front page for WebEx. And what I usually do first is I'm in Meeting Center. For more information about these three centers, you can read the article that goes along with this video. I'll put the link below. So Meeting Center is where you'll probably initially spend a lot of time. It's the most um, flexible. So you go to Schedule a Meeting. I'm just going to show you how easy it is to get started here. We're going to do quick bites. Then passwords, not necessary. Date and time, believe it or not, not necessary. They just use those to fill in um, an email invitation that you can forward to your participants, but um, it doesn't really mean anything. Uh, you want it to be accurate if you're going to use that email invitation, obviously. So I'm going to say start. This is going to go ahead and start my meeting. Oh, it's starting it on my other monitor. So I'll drag it over. And make that big. Okay. So the first thing it wants me to do is it's noticing I have a camera. Do you want to turn it on? Click start my video. Always a good idea if you're the host or presenter because it keeps people from falling asleep if they have something to look at. Now my camera is already being used by my uh, screencast recording software, so I'm going to say not now because WebEx won't be able to get it anyway. All right, so then I can say connect to audio. This will start an audio um, voice over IP or VoIP. Uh, meeting so um, and then that gets your audio going now there's no one in this so what I'm gonna do is join from my phone so the way that I do that is I've downloaded the uh, WebEx app which is a uh, quick free download it goes on um, both platforms you know and then I'm going to enter the fastest way I found on the app is to join by meeting number seven four five zero two zero Five, four, four, join. So it's joining. I don't know if you can see that. <laughs> so right now it's just. Oh, oh, we better. We better uh, just gonna, just gonna mute, mute myself. myself. Why do I, Why hear, do I myself? hear myself? Oh, I hate yeah. that. Oh, I needed to mute on there. Okay. That won't happen to you because you won't be WebExing with your own phone with yourself on your computer. So um, what you see is just the meeting information. If I had any content like a PowerPoint or a PDF, you would be seeing that. I'm going to turn on my video from my phone just to show you how easy this is. And that, let's not look at me. Well, hello, IT Goldie. It's just a pleasure to see you. And let's see, you know, the other main thing is you can chat with, chat with everyone, the host or the presenter. You can tell who the presenter is because they will have the ball, which is the little Cisco logo, which we call the ball. So if I want to give the other Amy Baker the ball, I can't do that because WebEx knows that it's just me because I'm logged in with the same license. <laughs> I can't outsmart you, WebEx. Now, um, to upload content, you would do share file. If you want to do a PowerPoint, I do recommend loading that in. Or uh, you can also always, when in doubt, you can share the screen. So share my screen. You can get to that down here too. Share screen, it asks you which monitor, if you're lucky enough to have two monitors like me. And that is about it for WebEx. So I hope you have fun exploring. I have had a great time learning this tool, and I can't wait to learn more from all of you.